In this demonstration, you'll learn about Fluent's new look. The new Fluent Solver layout is designed for a ribbon-driven workflow, where you can set up the majority of your problem either directly in the ribbon or from a dialog box that opens from the ribbon. In some cases, ribbon buttons open a task page that provides additional setup options. With the ribbon driving the main workflow, the tree is a dynamic representation of your project. For example, once you define models in the ribbon, they show up as enabled in the tree. You can now sort boundary conditions in cell zones by type. For example, here are all of the walls defined in this case. The graphics window displays the mesh by default once it's loaded. It will also show residuals and solution monitors if you have any defined. Now that I've run a simulation, I can also use the graphics window for post-processing. When you're post-processing, you'll likely want the graphics window to be as big as possible, so there are several ways that you can increase its size. For one, you can hide the ribbon contents. Note that while the ribbon is hidden, you can still access its contents. You can also rearrange pieces of the overall real estate by dragging and dropping. For example, I can tab the task page and the console on top of the tree. You'll see that they are still accessible, but they are taking up less of the overall real estate. I'll just revert back to the default layout. The triad has additional options to rotate the object in 90 degree increments around an axis, as well as free form rotation. There is also the ability to switch from the standard perspective view to an orthographic view, which also enables a ruler to help you judge the scale of the displayed object or objects. The console now visually differentiates different types of inputs and outputs. Fluent generated text is printed in black, while user inputs show up in blue. Errors are reported in red, so you won't miss them. The console also has a toggle option for whether or not it automatically scrolls when new text is printed. For example, you may want to disable automatic scrolling if you are reviewing printed contents while the solver is running. This will allow you to review the contents at your own pace. This concludes this quick demonstration of a few of the new features in Release 17 of Fluent. I encourage you to check out the release notes for a full list of the new features available in this release. Music